time now to take a look at what's in store for the property market this weekend. And joining me to spell it all out is real estate agent Adrian Bowe, who runs a national auction business as well. Adrian, lovely to have you. Great to see you again. Thanks for having me back, Erin. Um, tell me about the RBA and what impact keeping rates on hold for the first time in 10 months has from a buyer's perspective, say. Sure. Well, we're paused at that 3.6% um, cash rate. So that's been quite a quite a positive move, given we've had 10 increases uh, consecutively. So I think what you're going to find is you've got about 880,000 mortgage holders that are coming off fixed rates sometime this yeah. year. So they were locked in at around 2%. But APRA, who's the governing body for the banks, were quite smart back when those were locked in and they assessed people at a 3% buffer rate, so around 5%, which is not a coincidence, which is around where they're going to be this time around. Okay, big weekend ahead for the auctions following Easter. What was Easter like? Easter was still fine. We had 68% clearance nationally. Uh, the week before that, 71% clearance. Tomorrow we've got 1,800 auctions nationally across the board, and we're expecting some really good numbers still over that 70% mark. Some encouraging data came out of CoreLogic this week, Erin, yeah. which was despite uh, 8 to 12% correction over the last 12 month period in a downwards trajectory using Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane as barometers. We've seen in the last 30 days anywhere between 1 to 1.4% 1 uplift, right. which is telling us that the bottom is behind us.